Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. In the last episode we started setting up our steel uh, production area. We will be making steel beams and encased industrial beams and concrete uh, in our facility. I was going to do steel pipes in the same place, but there just isn't room for that. So we'll move steel pipes somewhere else. But this is how it's uh, come out. So we have 30 uh, truck stations here. They're not hooked up to power or anything yet. But we have 30 truck stations here. We have 10 down this line, 5 down this line, 5 down this line, and 10 down this line. So on this side, the 5 that are on uh, this half uh, of, the, uh, of the facility, the trucks will come in here and some of them will go up that way some of them will come over and go up that way and go up that way and go up that way now at the other end i have an exit lane here and an exit lane over here and that's because the trucks that will be coming in for these five and the five on the other side they will be coming in here and going around and going out so, just a second guys, sorry about that guys, uh, but I'm back, so where were we, yeah, so uh, this is this will be our setup for making beams, concrete and encased industrial beams. Okay, but uh, I've decided that I don't want to set up any more tractors, because they're going to be, have to be changed into trucks anyway. So we need to go get some oil going a little bit and I scanned and it seems like the closest oil that we have is actually the ones that we already found. So that's a bit annoying, they are about two and a half kilometers away but uh, it is what it is. But before we run over there, let's just have a quick look at the man and see what we've got here. So we've got two alternates for circuit boards. So rubber and uh, wire instead of wire and plastic. And it's 33% faster. And it's the same over here, only we will be using Caterium wire. Okay. I'm not actually sure which one I like best. I think we'll do the Caterium one. And we have one left I'm out of space. And let's stick that one in and get that done. and grab those again. I don't think we'll need them. But the nearest um, oil is actually over that way. So we're going to go over there. Don't run me over. And if we just do a quick scan again, we'll see that it's way over there in the distance. And that's where we're going to pull a, a power line over and set up a bit of production for rubber and I think plastic as well. So yeah, it's over there, two kilometers. So what we're going to do is we're going to run over to our truck station up here and plug in and then uh, pull the the power all the way over there we're going to need it anyway even when we get our uh, fuel generators we'll still need it over there so let's take a power pole here hook that up and then i think i'll just uh, pull the wire all the way or the power all the way and i'll see you when we get there 
All right, so we are out here at the oil patches, and it seems like that they have set a bunch of the critters to respawn out here. Whoops, very. Because I had to kill uh, one of the big uh, shooting minis and three of the um, the small flying ones, uh, three uh, of those bushes or whatever they are in order to get to this oil patch and I'm pretty sure that I already cleared this out so yeah it seems like that some of the minis are respawning now but we are going to set up an oil pump right here this is uh, probably a very temporary solution that we have we have going here but that's okay because all we need is a couple of oil refineries Let's just stick one there and one there. And grab these delicious nuts. And let's just chop down this tree. And we need a couple of containers. Just regular containers will do. Stick one there. We'll stick one over here. Mm, that was a bit of a bad spot. Uh, get a hitbox on this tree. No. Okay. Let's chop down the tree first. There we go. And get rid of the noisy chainsaw okay, let's just stick a container there we need some logistics and did I bring uh, any steel beams no I did not which means that we will just be going with conveyor belt ones and we'll go in there and we need a splitter and where is it there Oh, well. it's stuck on there. No, you wanna. Eh. Where's better? Like, go. Like I said, very, very temporary setup that we're making here, but we'll be fine. I just wanna produce something. I wanna produce some rubber. And I think I'll set up the other one to produce fuel. Or maybe I should do plastic first. I think we'll do plastic first. And then we need to hook them up. So there. There. And there. And hopefully yeah, we have plenty of power. Plenty of power. For now. But okay, this means that we are producing a bit of fuel, uh, or not fuel, a bit of crude oil, and we are producing a bit of rubber and plastic. So well, that's good. That is good. And let's see, there's a wreck over there. I'm not, no. There's not. I thought there was a wreck over there. I thought I saw a wreck, wreck somewhere. Maybe I was mistaken. It does look like a wreck though. Doesn't it look like a wreck? It is a wreck. There are a couple of big meanies over there, so let's not go over there right now. Okay. So we have our first a bit of plastic and rubber being produced that is very nice and we need 50 rubber in order to make one truck as far as I remember uh, yes 50 rubber so yeah that'll take a little while I guess how many do we have now 28 29 all right 
And we don't just want one, right? We want quite a few. So, and how is the plastic doing? Going up, going up, very good. I wish I had brought some steel beams. I didn't bring anything that I can do anything with, right? On it. All right. While uh, that gets done, I guess we might as well take a quick look around and see what we can find. Uh, so we've already been over here. Uh, what's this? Iron ore. I suppose we could make some if we found some coal, but... Nah. Don't see anything really interesting up here except some nuts. Oh, and a power slug. Let's grab that yellow power slug. Not enough space. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Don't need it. There. Yellow power slug. Thank you very much. There are no meanies around here. That's a bit weird. Or nuts. Berry. Oh. This bauxite. I we could pick it up. No real need to right now. Well, there's another oil patch right there. Let's set that up too, I guess. That. Oh, I thought I saw a berry. It was an illusion, a illusionary berry. So, I suppose we could set this one up. Uh, let's see. Well, pump. Come up that way. And then we need some. Uh, one belts. And I'm also almost out of the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, concrete as well. Which is a little bit annoying. Well, uh, oh, I didn't want to eat. I to chop stuff down. Weapon back in hand, and this conveyor belt going over here if we can. I don't think we can. We need to build a bridge. Darn it! And I can't afford to build a bridge because I am out of concrete. All right, so that means we won't be able to get getting that going right now. That's okay. We can live without it. Should we go check out that wreck over here? I guess we should. The minis aren't here right now. Looks like. I wonder if it's the one that I already checked. Oh my. I ain't land somewhere. No minis around right now. It's already taken, yeah. So, I already got that one. Is that limestone by chance? Yes, it is. Let's grab that. We can just craft a quick bit of concrete to make a small bridge to get the... Um, crude oil over to, to our facility. Not enough space. Uh, get rid of something. Rid of that. Rid of that. Rid of that. Alright. And we'll go back over here.
and we'll get the bridge going over so that we can increase the production a little bit. Which is always a good thing. So let's just quickly build a few. Ah, we need. No, not conveyor pole. Uh, craft bench. And just really quick craft some uh, concrete up. And get that bridge going. I don't even think it needs to be a full bridge. It just be something like this, I guess. And let's see. No, not conveyor pole, conveyor belt. Yeah, bridge. That's all I wanted. Because then we can, instead of having the splitter, we can just have this one go in to one of them. Which will work fine for me. Actually, we can just stick it into the splitter, can't we? And... Why is that approaching? Why is that encroaching? It's weird. Oh, because it's a splitter. Uh -huh. Not weird. Let's stick you in there. Let's stick you in there. And pull the power over. Get a bit more production going. There. I don't really care what it looks like right now. I just want it to be functional. There we go. Spitting out the crude oil. of plastic and uh, rubber. Well, that's very good. And let's see how much rubber do we have. Yeah, ooh, we have quite a bit actually. Well, that's not too bad. Let's grab it all. Well, that's enough for five trucks. And we can get up to have enough for six trucks. But that's all we have space for. Uh, we can get rid of a rod, then we have space for some more. So I'll just wait for a bit of uh, rubber to get done. And uh, then I'll run back and we will get our uh, trucks going for steel and stuff. But that is going to be in the next episode so uh, thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and maybe subscribe and i'll see you next time